Today I'm going to be talking about Splatoon 3. More specifically, how Splatoon 3 affects Splatoon 2. I'll be going over the arguments for and against the downfall of Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 has been around since 2017, and this has given the game an opportunity to establish a thriving community full of people putting thousands of hours into the game. No! Come on! The introduction of a new Splatoon game will cause a divide in the player base for a few reasons. Splatoon 3 is coming to Switch. This means that it's super accessible for those who already have a Switch. Secondly, when a new game comes out, Nintendo will drop support for Splatoon 2, so no more official tournaments. The final reason is that Splatoon see a big drop in new players. Why would you buy an older version of a game knowing that there's a newer one that everyone is playing? Not only that, but for existing players, the lack of focus from Nintendo will allow hackers to dominate the multiplayer modes. This will make veterans want to leave, also decreasing the popularity of the game. This leaves players few options and forces them to play private battles, which will be harder because less people are playing the game. This could kill Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 can survive if Splatoon 3 is too similar or bad. Splatoon 2 has already received a, a price cut since its release, and it's reasonable to expect that the price will lower again after the release of Splatoon 3 as manufacturers get rid of inventory. This makes the game cheaper and easier to pick up. If the games were too similar, the choice would be a no-brainer. On top of that, Splatoon 2 is a fan favorite. It is possible that Splatoon 3 just doesn't live up to expectations. It is very, very, very possible Nintendo forgets what makes Splatoon Splatoon. Oftentimes, video game developers do this, and it's often hard to recreate success. This creates a thing where if Splatoon 3 is too similar, it doesn't do good. Or if it's too different, it also doesn't do good. It's a balancing act, and... There's no guarantee that lightning strikes in the same place twice, or in this case, three times. However, considering all these arguments, it is possible that both of these games could coexist. Look at the Smash community. Melee and Ultimate are still very alive, and thousands of players play them daily. It's very possible that we could see a similar situation for the Splatoon games is very possible. If the gameplay is different enough where people have a preference for one or the other, they could definitely coexist. It It's not as black and white as it first seems. Looking at the promotional material for Splatoon 3, it does say that we're getting new specials and new maps. People might prefer the maps from Splatoon 2. It's not just one way or the other. This is one of those things where you decide the fate of these games. I have great memories with Splatoon 2, and I can't wait to make new memories with Splatoon 3. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And maybe consider joining our Discord server. Links in the description.